Hello, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create our base controller core class that's going to extend our application class. Um, so right here in our core directory, let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to call it controller.php. And then inside of that, I'm just going to open our PHP tags. And then um, what we're going to do is tell it this is a class. We're calling it controller, and this extends application, which we made in the last video. So it extends this. Um, so that's how you extend a uh, class in PHP. You just type extends. Um, so basically, what's cool about this is when you extend a class from a parent class, um, you have access to all of its methods and all of its properties. Um, you can also, uh, do, we're going to construct it. So first thing that we're going to do, though, is let's set up a few properties. Um, the first ones are going to be protected. And we just need two of those. So let's do controller and action. Okay. And then we'll do a public, uh, uh, we'll do a public property called view. And the difference between protected and public in this situation is that uh, Protected properties uh, can be accessed by classes that are extended from this class. So when we create our controllers in our application and we extend this controller class, um, they can uh, get and set these uh, these right here. The if we had uh, private, they could not. Uh, even even child classes could not uh, mess with these at all. Uh, public, uh, they can be changed uh, willy-nilly. So the view, you know, as, that's going to be another object that's instantiated. That's totally fine just to leave that public for now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to go ahead and instantiate this with our on construct, or rather, uh, excuse me, we're going to use the magic construct method from PHP. And then we're going to pass in we're going to accept when this is being instantiated, it's going to need a controller and it's also going to need an action. Okay. So um, the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and construct our application, uh, which is our parent. So we'll just do parent colon colon underscore underscore construct. Okay. That is not, uh, it looks a little confusing if you've not done much, but all this is is basically it's a magic method call that's happened inside of our construct on this. So when we call this controller, what it's going to do is it's going to construct this application uh, and it's going to run this construct method here. So it'll go ahead and run our set reporting and our unregistered global when we instantiate a controller. Um, could be, so that's, that's how you do that. Um, so then the next thing that we want to do inside of this construct method is we want to go ahead and set this controller equal to controller. Okay. And then we also want to set this uh, action equal to action. So we're passing in controller, and so we're going to set that. So this now this after this construct uh, method runs, our properties will contain those that we're passing into those. So those, so that I hope that makes sense. But that's that's what's going to happen there. Um, and then the other thing that we want to do is go ahead and set up our view. So this view is going to equal new view. Now we haven't created the view controller yet, or the view object class yet, but we're going to do that in the next video. So we'll just go ahead and put this here now. Um, so that's all that's going to happen on our construct. Uh, we have a few more um, methods that we're going to write later in this controller, but I'll come back to those. So basically, that's our controller at this point. Uh, that should work and uh, so we'll, in the next video what we're going to do is create um, we're going to go ahead and create our view uh, class and then this we'll start being able to see some fruits of our labor uh, very shortly here so i hope you enjoyed this so far and i'll see you in the next video